Hi there, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode of Straight to Streaming. Today I am talking about The Outlaws, the latest film from Happy Madison that's on Netflix. It was directed by Tyler Spinell and written by Ben Zazoff, I apologize if I mispronounced that name, and Evan Turner. It follows Owen, your standard nice guy played by Adam Devine, who's also a bank manager and is about to marry Parker, played by Nina Dobrev. I apologize if I mispronounced that name. And he's never been introduced to her parents until the week of their wedding, where they decide to actually show up. Uh, her parents are played by Pierce Brosnan and Ellen Barkin, respectfully. And they uh, are pretty much the cool parents. They are dressed in leather jackets, they go skydiving, they get tattoos... And the day after his alone time with them, Owen's bank gets robbed by people who really act like his future in-laws. And the first half of the film plays very much like So I Married an Axe Murderer, except instead of a fear of commitment, it's a fear of one's in-laws. However, it's quickly apparent that, yeah... These two are definitely bank robbers. That's not a spoiler. The trailers give that away. And it's really freaking obvious that they are the ones who robbed his bank. Um, so, yeah. The second half of this film turns into an action comedy as Parker gets kidnapped by somebody who wants to get money from these two who apparently ripped her off in the past... I'll be honest, the story's a little all over the place, and it's just not good. It's really not good. Um, there's not a whole lot here that I haven't seen in better films. Uh, I feel like if they had stuck to the whole wondering whether or not these two were the bank robbers, it made it a little less obvious. I feel like that would have been a cool angle. Uh... I feel like making this more about maybe him just being afraid of his in-laws would have probably made this a better film. Instead, we have this second half of the movie that's just a dumb action comedy that isn't funny. And that's another problem with the film. It's not funny. Like, the writers of this movie really did not write comedy well. As your standard setup is set up comedy joke um punchline and hopefully laughs then move on to the next joke this movie is set up joke punchline and then beat that punchline into the dirt yeah that doesn't work for comedy guys it just it makes the joke stale even if it lands and if it doesn't land it makes your audience bored so i mean you really should have stepped back, took another look at this script, and definitely fleshed out some of the lines to make them better. This isn't helped by the fact that the characters are all one-note characters I've seen in other better movies. None of these characters are unique, and none of them have an interesting personality. Owen is your standard nice guy, the uh, in-laws are, again, the cool parents, and have... No other description other than that, pretty much. Parker is a plot device, and our bad person is a bad person. Yeah, there is nothing interesting as far as characters are concerned. Which is a shame, because the performances aren't bad. Pierce Brosnan and Ellen Barkin are doing a fantastic job when they're on the screen. Adam Devine's not terrible in this role. It's just pretty much every other role he's had up to this point. Uh, and his uh, one, his father is actually played by Richard Kind, who has probably the best performance in the film and some of the best lines. So there is a lot of good performance work going on here. It's just they weren't given a ton to work with, unfortunately. And for a film like this, I want a stylized view, especially for the action comedy half of the film, and I don't have that, so I feel like the film 
has some wasted potential as far as that is concerned. And the music score is almost non-existent and it's just everything I've ever heard before in other films like this. This film is the definition of lazy. The story is pretty simplistic and easy to figure out and doesn't take any twists or turns to make the story interesting. The film really needed another run at the script and really needed some more time to develop the characters and make them interesting. This film is just atrocious and is definitely something I would skip. I'm going to give The Outlaws a 4 out of 10. It's unfortunate that this film had some good performance work that was just left on the table. Anyway, that's all I thought about The Outlaws. What did you think about it if you've seen it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I post new content. And I will see you next time.